guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. This is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. You know, many of you have asked me in the past, hey, I'd like a, a relationship, or I'd like to date, or I'd like a long-term relationship, or I'd like maybe someday to get married, or I might even like to have kids someday. Where should I go? What should I do? How should I do it? So on and so forth. And my answer's always kind of been, you know what, man, I don't know. I've had long-term relationships. Um, I've had some good dating experiences. I've had some bad dating experiences. Uh, most of my relationships that have been good have been shorter than six months. But there are guys out in the red pill community that specifically focus on dating. They view guys going their own way as, for some reason, as guys that have never had the ability to date or have never done the work to meet somebody or have never um, had a long-term relationship. I don't know why they view it that way, but that seems to kind of be the norm. They lump everybody that doesn't want to date right now into this one big pool. And I think that's a mistake because many, many guys that have gone their own way and are doing their own thing and supposedly have taken the black pill, as they call it, are just guys that have, have done the deeds, have seen the game, have decided to opt out, meaning that I, I have no value in having a partner or finding a woman for my life. Now, if one were to come along and fall in my lap and she said, hey, I really like you and let's hang out, well, that's a, that's a different deal. I'm still on my course going to my destination and I know what I'm signing up for, which is ultimately something short-term, very casual. And if I hope it's going to be long-term, it's going to require crazy work and it's not going to turn out very well. That's my view on it. But that's not the way it always turns out. A lot of people have long-term relationships. But I've always said it's like looking for a needle in a needle stack. And you have to say, am I, am I going to go through all the pain and all the hassle and all the anguish to find that somebody that might work out for me? My answer is no. Yours may not be. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up, uh, this, is, this is Entrepreneurs in Cars. This is uh, uh, Rich Cooper's site, Entrepreneurs in Cars. And this is a video they did recently called Rule Zero, Looks versus Money versus Status versus game. And he's got um, himself, Ryan Stone, Rolo Tomasi, who is like pre pretty much written the Bible when it comes to red pill stuff. And I'm not sure who Troy Francis and this other gentleman are down below. I just, because I don't follow this type of content. But these are guys that have, have kind of taken the red pill and they've gone in a different direction, which is not to say that they're necessarily pickup artists, but that they're guys that are, that are, are have learned or are studying on how to understand the dating world and how to make yourself an attractive guy for women and how to put yourself uh, out there to make yourself look unique and how to be comfortable in social situations where you decide to have a conversation with somebody or you decide to go to a club or something like that and be comfortable in your own skin, maybe enough to uh, hit on women and have those women look at you and find you attractive and interesting enough to either get a short-term date to maybe just hit the bedroom or to maybe even find a long-term relationship. I think most of these guys now are in a long-term relationship. I know Rolo's been, or, or Rollo, I'm not sure how he pronounces it, but Rollo's been married now for, I think, 17 years. So these guys know how to make long-term relationships work. And if that's what you're looking for, you know, my, my deal is to try to help you guys be better bachelors. And a bachelor can still be somebody that's casually dating, a bachelor can still be somebody that's going out and uh, uh, having action, as it were, from, from a nightlife. And if that's what you're looking for, then I'm going to point you in this direction. The video that I have marked down right down below here in my comments for the under my sources, I'm going to link to this video. It is an hour and a half. But to you guys that are wondering what it takes to, to be in the kind of the dating game, I think this is a good introductory video. They also do talk about guys going their own way. And they talk about um, they talk about the black pill. They've even mentioned my channel, but the, they've mentioned it in a negative light in that the guys that come here and watch this stuff are basically just wallowing in their own self-pity and aren't happy and um, are kind of curled up in the corner of their mom's basement, you know, unable to date. Now, while there are certainly men here that uh, are not comfortable dating or have not had the luck to date and they would like to change that, to pool all men that have decided that finding a woman and having a good dating life and, and getting some bedroom action is not a high priority to them, for some reason, that's all kind of a blanket, sad, loser, guy that doesn't want to put in the work 
to get ahead in life. But I might counter with this. Who's, who's more successful and happier in the long term? The guy that goes out and has maybe many nights with many beautiful women uh, or the guy that has a good group of friends, enjoys his hobby, has more than enough money in the bank, um, which at some point you will if you're younger, um, although if you're dating and spending your money on that, you won't, um, and, and is, is comfortable in his own skin. I don't have to impress anyone, but to go down this path, you have to impress women at least enough that they want to be with you. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, and what these guys teach and these guys coach, I think is great for the right guys, and if those guys are you, then I'm going to point you in this direction. You know, uh, Rollo's got uh, his own YouTube channel here where he's got lots of videos. He's got about 40,000 subs. Um, the Rational Ma He's written The Met Rational Mail, which I think is one of the most crucial books to read about the red pill and understanding women. I think this is almost, you could say, the, the Bible of the red pill. So a great read. Definitely order one of those. Uh, and I'm not being paid or I'm not a shill for these guys, but I am saying that there's great content in that book. And, you know, here, uh, Rich has got entrepreneurs and cars. He's got almost a quarter million subs. He's got about twice as many as I do. And some of his videos have like a million and a half views. So I think he's got some, and he's got his own website here as well. So I think these guys have some, some I, I think these guys have something to say that resonates with somebody. Um, but I think if, I think you have to remember what's the end goal. If you want to kind of better yourself and be more comfortable in your own skin and be able to hit on women and be able to have women find you attractive, go look up their material. I think that's absolutely great. If you want to find out on bettering yourself and hitting the gym um, and uh, just increasing your market value for, for women, I think this is another way to go. But you have to remember the end result, though, is what do you hope to get out of it? And what I try to show on my channel is I don't think you can I don't think you can ever ultimately have a woman that deeply loves you unless you're always working for that. There's never going to be the day that you just get married and then now you can relax and you two are together and everything's happy ever after. I just don't believe in that anymore. I've seen too many times where it doesn't work out that way. If you're looking for something that's long term where she will stay dedicated to you and you don't have to worry about the cheating and the lies and all the other BS. I, I got nothing on that as well because I have not had good results with that. These guys maybe have, as I said, they're in longer term relationships. So maybe this is a direction some of you guys would like to look at if, if that's still important to you. For me personally, I think that it, I don't want to increase my market value for anyone. I am who I am. And I'm not going to be buying a fancy car to look richer. I'm not going to be wearing a, a fancy watch, watch and dressing up and, you know, tying tails or, or whatever is fashionable at the moment to try to look chic and hip. And that's just not me. And, and, and I'm not saying necessarily these guys are, are touting that. I don't know. I don't, I don't really go down this rabbit hole because it doesn't interest me. What interests me, and I think what interests many of you on this, is number one, yes, we sit here and we make fun of some of the silly crap that women talk about with men. Number two, we point out some of the awful laws that are coming out that are one-sided. Number three, we don't. I don't talk about all women are this or all women are that, but I am going to point out the ones that are doing pretty stupid things. And number four, the the biggest thing and my my big takeaway, hopefully for you all, all you guys is, is to be a successful, happy, productive person with with tons of friends and activities and and a fulfilled life is it doesn't require somebody else to help you with that or to, to be there for you. You don't need a woman to say that you're attractive, you're awesome, you're hot, or she wants to do you. You don't need that to have an accomplished life. That's just, that's just looking for outside gratification. The, the way to really be happy in your life, I feel, is that you better yourself for yourself. You hit the gym for yourself, not for looking good to women. You, you pad your bank account, not so you can roll up in a fancy car that looks good for women, but so that you personally can save it and maybe retire early. And when I mean early, I mean like by 40 or 45 early, you know, that, that your own happiness is in your own hands and it's not in anyone else's. And, and so, but I thought I'd bring this up because they were pretty harsh on guys going their own way and, and calling them basement dwellers and sad losers that kind of gave up on life. And, and I disagree with that. And I'm not shouting them out. 
I mean, it may, from their eyes, from their view of the world, I can see why they would think this way because for them, they say, they say, hey, here's how you have good game. Here's how you can go out and, and date beautiful women and, and uh, go out to the nightclubs and get in the VIP room and, and be popular and have her calling you saying she can't wait to see you and so on and so forth. And here I'm over here saying, ah, forget all women. I'm not interested. And it makes me sound bitter. It makes me sound like I've given up on it. And it the, but the difference is I'm not interested in it. And, and so if someone were to say, hey, um, uh, here's how you can, uh, here's how you can uh, guarantee that you'll have a big chocolate bowl of ice cream. And I say, no, nah, I'm good. I, I'm not interested in ice cream. And then to turn around and say, well, you just don't want, want it bad enough. And you need to change your lifestyle and go after it. And you can get it if you want it. My answer's always been the same. I don't want it. I don't care about dressing up and going out to a nightclub. I don't care about trying to get in a VIP room. I don't care about having a f flashy car. I don't care about being funny and, and humorous and, and witty and, and having her find me interesting. I don't care. I do not care because my happiness just does not come from that. I've been there. I've done that. But for you guys that haven't been there and haven't done that, don't take it away from yourself. If you're still interested in that, Go check out this video. Give it a watch through. It's an hour and a half, but this hour and a half may help you understand whether, yes, I'm interested in pursuing this. Yes, maybe that's an alternative for me to find some happiness and maybe date and maybe bed some great women. And then after that, you can say, that's not for me. But if you've never experienced it, maybe, just maybe that is for you. You just don't know it yet. It's not for me to tell you what the right way to go is. You know, the, the, the bachelor lifestyle, it's just a philosophy. It's just a way to look at the world through your set of eyes and do what's right for you. For some of you guys, that's being a monk. For some of you guys, that's short-term relationships or one-night stands. For some of you guys, it's casual dating. For some of you guys, it's dating five women at once. For some of you, maybe it's finding a, a somewhat long-term relationship, but not getting emotionally involved. It's different for everybody. And for any of us to tell somebody else, hey, this is what you really need to do and this is what's right for you, that's wrong. So if you want to go down this alley and check it out, check out the video down below, give it a, a look through, and see if this lifestyle makes you happy. And even if you're not, maybe give it a watch and uh, I don't lay into these guys. God, all I need, I don't need a, a YouTube war. That's not the point of this. But the point is to see what it looks like from somebody else's eyes and learn maybe how another community looks at a community like ours and see how even... Sometimes even when we're on the outside or we feel like we're on the outside of society, sometimes we're even on the outside of the outsiders. And me personally, I, I, think, that's kind of a, I think that's kind of an interesting way to look at it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can take a look and see what you think. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Uh, guys, if you'd like to support my work, links are below. If you have supported me directly, thank you. Uh, the best way you can support me, of course, is like, comment, share, subscribe. Guys, that is it. I am better. Uh, I, this, I am Joker. This is Better Bachelor. And uh, remember, never close off all your options. Make everything you decide to do a choice, but don't make it a mandatory choice because you don't have any other options. Go check out your other options, and if they're not right for you, at least you know they're not. Mm -hmm.